The Bahamas is an archipelago of some 700 islands stretching across 100,000 square miles of ocean that contain pristine beaches and abundant marine life. Unfortunately, ocean currents and wind patterns bring a steady barrage of plastic bottles, bags, and marine debris that is contaminating the country's coastlines and ecosystems. We have a multifaceted issue here, right? So we are dealing with the waste that we generate as a nation um, that comes from locals and also the tourism industry. And then we're also faced with all of this marine debris that's lacing our shores. The question is, what do we do with it? Crystal Ambrose connected with the ocean as a child when her father coaxed her to join his daily swim. More than experiencing the joy of the sea, it was the beginning of what would become Crystal's mission in life. I feel alive! It doesn't matter how young you are, um, where you're from, what color you are, this is your world, this is your future, and you deserve a seat at the table and making these decisions that impact you. Our plastic camp has been so impactful. We've been doing the program for over six years now. We've reached more than 500 students on eight different Bahamian islands. You be the solution to plastic pollution. So we build that stewardship through our beach cleanups, through all of our environmental work. And the students, they're able to make that real world connection between how all this plastic is having a negative impact on the environment that surrounds them. So for us, protecting what you love means connecting to the ocean and using that time to draw those healing powers and that strength from the ocean so that we can continue fighting this issue. Crystal found herself at times questioning what the next step would be in her campaign against plastic. Then she had an important eureka moment. I realized that it wasn't a political issue, it wasn't a personal issue, that the, it just needed to be done. Then the time was now. We looked at the scientific research, trying to understand how plastic was moving over space and over time on beaches in the Bahamas. And with the help of a lawyer, we wrote a bill of what a single-use plastic ban would look like for the Bahamas. We always hear about plastics in the ocean, but here are Bahamian beaches drowning in plastic, Bahamian fish that have ingested plastic. But I think the main thing, though, is that in assembling her data and doing her research, Crystal was able to demonstrate that this problem isn't just out there. It's actually right on our front doors, and we need to act now. And the students, I was like, well, you know, this is going to be a high-level meeting. we got to be formal. And they're like, Miss Crystal, that's boring. <laughs> you know, so we literally went in there beating on the desk. We are the change. We're the solution. We can fix this plastic pollution. And then we proceeded to tell the Minister of Environment why we needed to act now and ban um, single-use plastics. Crystal's meeting with the Minister of the Environment set off a media storm, raising public awareness about plastic pollution. Uh, tell us about the Bahamas plastic movement. And applied pressure to the government to take action. Soon, the bill that had begun as a school project became a reality. So my face being a young black Bahamian woman at the forefront of an environmental issue, working at the grassroots level is so important because it sends the message that I can do this too. This is my planet, this is my ocean. I deserve to fight and my voice matters. For outstanding environmental achievement for islands and island nations, the 2020 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Crystal Ambrose, Luther Island, the Bahamas.